Greetings, everybody. Free by Dave here. Welcome to your ultimate guide for XP in Overwatch. In this video, I'll be explaining in detail how you can get the most XP out of your time playing Overwatch, including what to do and what to not do, as, w as well as which official modes give the best XP per hour. I'll be going over custom games and how to optimize get XP gain there in the next video of this guide. First of all, in this video, let's go over how the XP system works. You can get XP in two different ways. One, completing matches. Bear in mind that if a match ends early because of a server error, that also counts. And two, endorsing people. Up to three people per match for 50 XP per person for 150 in total. You can also increase almost all XP gains by 20% by being in a group when you enter a match and must stay in that group until you receive the XP at the end. The size of the group doesn't matter, as long as you remain in a group, that's good enough. You will not gain any XP if you leave a game early. The point that you receive XP is shortly after the game results, uh, victory, defeat, draw, uh, display appearing on the screen. After that, you can safely leave knowing you have received the XP for the game. When you receive XP, you will get XP for the length of the match and several other bonuses based on the game mode you just completed. The bonuses are as follows. Time. This is fairly self-explanatory. The longer the match, the more XP you get. Match finish. Also self-explanatory. You should always get this and it will be the same for each individual mode unless the match is too short. Win. You cannot get this if you don't win. Draw will not count. Backfill. You will only get this if you replace someone who left the match you joined. Consecutive match. You will get this only if you haven't clicked leave game or cancel search before the current game. Leaving as soon as the match ends and requeuing will not save time since the queue will wait for it to end before looking for matches. You will also not get the bonus for the consecutive match. Medal. You can get bronze, silver or gold medals. Only your highest medal type counts for this bonus and you will not receive uh, more XP for multiple of the same medal. First win of the day. This is always 1500 XP and will be the first match after midnight UTC. Your XP can be reduced if the match does not last long enough. Typically that penalty will apply to matches shorter than 1-2 to two minutes in length depending on the mode in question. So in short, to receive the most XP in general, group up either through your friends list or with the LFG tool before you go in. Stay until the end of the match, do not leave early. Try to win and get at least one gold medal. Do not leave the match after it has ended or cancel the queue if it queues for you. And win at least one match per day. Make most of the fir um, first one of the day bonus. In addition, endorse three people if the match type allows it. Now that we've gone over how to maximize XP in general, let's discuss which modes are the best for XP per hour efficiency. I get a lot of people asking me what modes are the best for XP and I've been telling them that the best and most consistent in my opinion is quick play. But I've only been basing that on my experience in the game. In terms of XP efficiency, I have long had the impression that medium length games, not too long or not too short, would be the most efficient in terms of XP per hour. A very long game would get you a large amount of XP, but you would miss out on a lot of end of game bonuses. On the other end, games too short would not give much XP, and so most of your time would be taken up not earning XP due to the, all the pre and post match screens. In order to find out what is true and what is not, I decided to do the analysis to find out once and for all. To start, I went through the game and gathered data from 23 different modes with 10 examples from each to get a good sample of the average XP values 
separate from each other modes. I then analyse this data to determine how much XP per second of match time is given for each mode, as well as which bonuses can be obtained in each mode. I also made a note of how long in a typical session the amount of time per match you will not be earning XP due to the pre-match and post-match screens, as well as hero select, pre play of the game and so forth, in addition to the typical queue times. After a good number of hours crunching all this data, I finally know which modes are best for XP per hour and which modes to avoid, as well as how much match time affects XP per hour. I will split this up into several categories. Permanent modes, arcade modes, seasonal event modes, and match times. So of the permanent modes, which is the best? Please bear in mind that the XP values shown here are at 8 matches per hour under ideal circumstances with a 50% win rate. So ideal circumstances means all the bonuses you can obtain are factored in to the XP per hour. So, in fourth place of the permanent modes is Play vs AI with 14,450 XP per hour. Coming in at third place, Competitive Play with 16,350 XP per hour. In second place of the permanent modes, Mystery Heroes with 17,800 XP per hour. And at the top of the pack, Quick Play with 19,600 XP per hour. As you can see, Quick Play and even Mystery Heroes come out ahead of the competition by quite a margin in the permanent modes, even if you don't consider the queue times for competitive, which will happen every time with only occasional instant queues. Now, let's look at arcade modes at 8 matches per hour under ideal circumstances with a 50% win rate. Coming in in 6th place is Free For All Deathmatch at 11,800 XP per hour. Up next is 1v1 Duel with 14,000 XP per hour. In 4th place, Low Gravity, No Limits and Total Mayhem all coming in at 18,000 350 XP per hour. Capture the flag is 19,600 XP per hour. Team Deathmatch is just ahead of that at 19,900 XP per hour. And, as you may have guessed, 3v3 and 6v6 elimination are by far the best of the arcade modes at 24,000. 450 XP per hour with three rounds per match. Four rounds per match and five rounds per match are slightly less XP with five rounds per match coming in at 22,400 XP per hour, but it's still very, very good. This is a surprising one. 3v3 and 6v6 are both significantly more efficient for XP than quick play and even have every bonus available in quick play. But the downside is that they are not always available. The two runners up are also very good for XP, on par with Quick Play, Team Deathmatch, and Capture the Flag, but are also not always available. Low Gravity, No Limits, and Total Mayhem are good alternatives if you want to play some arcade. It is worth noting that these three modes do not appear on your crew profile, so bear that in mind if you care about that. At the bottom of the barrel, we have 1v1 Duel and Free For All Deathmatch, with Free For All Deathmatch having an abysmal XP per hour. It may be great for practice, but not for XP. Last up, let's go over the seasonal event modes. As before, the XP values are under ideal circumstances, but this time at 4 matches per hour, as some seasonal events take longer. This will result in slightly less XP per hour in comparison to the previous modes. So at 6th place we have Yeti Hunter 
with 5,650 XP per hour. Lucio Ball with 12,050 XP per hour in fifth place. In fourth place, the very similar Copa Lucio Ball at 12,450 XP per hour. Next, we've got the ever enjoyable Junkenstein's Revenge and Endless variant at 16,600 XP per hour. Above that is Maze Snowball Offensive at 17,000 XP per hour. And in first place, the only ones missing, the Archives events, Uprising and Retribution with their All Heroes alternatives for 17,300 XP per hour. Archive modes, Maze Snowball Offensive and Junkenstein modes are all on par or very close to quick play XP per hour as that is 17,300 XP per hour at 4 matches per hour. Any of these modes are good for XP if you want something different to quick play during an event. On the other hand, Lucio, Ball and Yeti Hunter are not. Yeti Hunter is by far the worst mode in the entire game for, by a long way for XP per hour. As you may have noticed, quick play is less efficient when you play 4 matches in 1 hour compared to 8 matches in an hour. This is because as match length decreases, XP efficiency increases. This is somewhat counterintuitive. You would think that the longer matches that reward more XP would get you more in the long run, but that's not true. This is because the end of match rewards more than make up for the pre-match and post-match screens where you aren't getting any XP. As the match times decrease, however, it is more difficult to maintain uh, that in the long run. But in general, shorter is better. That concludes my video. I hope you learned something new. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and let me know what you think in the comments. Also, feel free to share this with anyone who you think will find it useful. Special thanks for helping me collect the data for this video go to Rosie, Max Lerno, Tazarov and Sticky Dog. You all help me very much, thank you. For those that don't know, I stream every day except Friday starting at 2pm UK time, up to 6 hours over on my Twitch channel. Feel free to stop by and say hi. Also you can follow me on Twitter at TreeboyDave and you can subscribe subscribe to me here on YouTube. If you're interested in looking at the data for this video, I will put a link to the document in the description so you can take a look at it for yourself.